When normal people die, they are remembered in frame photographs or personal anecdotes told by their loved ones. Killers of the community might get their name on a street or a ball field, but for most of us, that's where our legacy stops. But if you're a dead Italian tractor builder come supercar constructor named Ferruccio Lamborghini, who would have turned 100 this year, your tribute comes in the form of the car you see here, the spectacular, 217 MPH Lamborghini Centenario, which also marks the 50th anniversary of the debut of the stunning Miura. Making its debut at the 2016 Geneva Auto Show, the Centenario is the latest in Lamborghini's series of so-called one-off limited editions, yes. That's an oxymoron, joining models such as the Reventin, the Sesto Elemento, and, more recently, the spectacular Veneno. Like its predecessors, the Centenario is a showcase of Lamborghini talent, from engineers and craftsmen to designers, who have gotten pretty good of late. As with the Veneno, the Centenario builds on Lamborghini's mid-engine V12 architecture that underpins the Aventador, juicing it up with Lamborghini's most powerful V12 engine and wrapping it all in a shape that's tough to describe in words. But for Ruccio's sake, we will at least try. Like the aforementioned one-offs, the Centenario is jagged and severe, its form following aero-driven function with a satisfying dose of evil. But in contrast to the dorsal fin Veneno, which was suitably wild if not instantly recognizable as a Lamborghini, the Centenario's heritage is clear, with its smooth silhouette, hexagonal side glass, and horizontally oriented headlamps recalling the brand's current products. The gouge-like air intakes rising from the rocker panels to the roof on each side of the car are particularly bold, and they join the other hulls, flaps, and grills on the car to take the Centenario's design from dramatic to extreme. These include the air gulping front fascia, the air extractors in front of the windshield, the shelf-like rocker panels with vertical fins, the triangular vents to cool the brakes at all four corners, and wait, what? The distinct lack of a rear bumper. The Centenario's back end is basically a huge diffuser with six vertical fins that appear to originate deep within the engine bay, with three angled tailpipes nestled neatly in the center. Dramatic! Y-shaped tail limbs slice across the back a few inches below the Centenario's extendable.